By 1933, protests against Jewish immigration were becoming ever more frequent in Palestine. Women took part side by side with men. The British authorities cracked down on demonstrations and arrested thousands. Many were killed and wounded. Musa Kazim al Husseini, the 80 year old former mayor of Jerusalem, was beaten by British soldiers during a demonstration in Jaffa. He later died of his injuries. The British authorities became ever more heavy handed. This letter was written by a Palestinian policeman condemning the behavior of his British senior officer, John Faraday. A number of other complaints were filed against Faraday. The officer was never charged. Four years later, Faraday was awarded the King's Police Medal for his valuable services in Palestine. Adam. رغبة بريطانيا بمنح المطالب الوطنية للشعب الفلسطيني وعدم رؤيتها للشعب الفلسطيني كمجموعة قومية وطنية ذات حقوق ومعاملات على أساس إنها طوائف أدى في حين عاملت الوكالة اليهودية على أساس أنها ممثلة لمجموعة قومية كل هذا مجتمعا أدى إلى تفاقم الوضع والصدام مع بريطانيا only still images of the Palestinian demonstrations are available in the archives. Movie cameras did capture Jewish life in Palestine, as well as British pomp and ceremony. This footage shows the Star of David flag over the Tel Aviv municipality building. This is footage of work in the diamond factories of Tel Aviv. And this footage shows the flow of new immigrants and the building of new settlements. Footage of Palestinian life in the early 20th century proved more difficult to find. A Palestinian film archive had once existed, but had since been lost or gone mysteriously missing. We spent months searching for pictures of Palestinian lives. Eventually, in the vaults of the British Library, we found glimpses of this bygone era. Most of the Palestinians, intellectuals, leaders, journalists, were still unaware how determined the Zionist movement is of dispossessing them from Palestine. In the 1930s, the number of Jews immigrating to Palestine began to increase significantly. From 4,000 in 1931, the figure jumped to 9,500 the following year. In 1933, the number rose to 30,000. In 1934, 42,000, and in 1935, a further jump to 62,000. That same year, Palestinian poet Abdul Rahim Mahmoud wrote a poem which he read aloud to Prince Saud bin Abdulaziz of Saudi Arabia, who was visiting Jerusalem. He asked, did you come to visit the Holy Aqsa Mosque or to bid it farewell before it is lost? 